Kevin Gordon here from Autosavant.com, uh, here with another update on taking video in car. Uh, this time, I managed to forget to bring home my GoPro and charge it. So I'm left without my GoPro for the day, but I do have my handy iPhone 4S. What I wanted to see if I could do with this was use my iPhone 4 to record video using my GoPro mount that comes with the GoPro automotive kit. So what I did was I went out and bought a few things. Initially what I had planned to do was take the GoPro tripod mount that comes with a little screw attachment and actually glue it on to the back of my Incipio case to use for recording. The issue with that was is I wanted to be able to use the higher quality back camera on the iPhone so then I thought there might be a better way. What I decided to do was I picked up this Phillips reversible case that comes with a beautiful pink inner sock to put your iPhone in. Then a harder plastic case which you can then insert your iPhone into either way either the normal front way or conveniently rearward facing so now you'll see it even as the button to be able to turn on your phone with the phone in the wrong way which leaves it so that now I've got a hard plastic case and the good quality camera poking out the other side what I plan to do from here is use a few of the GoPro sticky mounts that come with your GoPro. The, they come with these 3M adhesive holders and a few of the other pieces, which I'll be back with in a second. One of the big issues that you'll run into when you try to do this is the fact that all the GoPro cases have this sort of male side adapter attached to the bottom of them and all of the screw-in connectors have this female side adapter attached to them. Well, to get around that, what I plan to do is take and basically sacrifice two of the pieces. So I'm sacrificing a little connector here which is just an extension and this is typically the extension you find if you use like the LCD backpack. And here's my 3M adhesive back piece. And all I'm going to do is if you take these and sort of force them together, you'll find you get a very snug fit between them. That in and of itself would probably be just fine for a mount in your car because this piece is actually pretty solid here. But just to be sure, I'm going to take a little super glue, your choice and brand, and put a couple dollops in between these two pieces. And I should have a really solid mount now for my iPhone in the car. I'll be back after I give that a shot. Okay, we're back. Now we've got a glued together piece here, which ultimately leaves us flexibility to have, you know, articulation this way, as well as articulation up and down should we need it. Only final step is to attach this 3M adhesive to the back of our case for our iPhone, and uh, I'm going to do this off camera, but I'd recommend cleaning the area you're going to attach your 3 adhesive to with something. Window cleaner, if it's all you have, alcohol and one of those little rubbing pads would be best. Be back in a second. Okay, and here is our final result. You can see I've got my suction cup mount set up with my iPhone, and the case is you know, removable so you can flip the way the phone works either to show the screen or to clip it in to the other side. For higher quality video recording, the whole thing is really quite solid and because I'm using the GoPro mounts, you have the ability to remove the case either this way and all you wind up having left on the back of it is this or leaving it clipped in there like that. See it snaps on solidly. You can also unscrew this one 
and remove it this way if you want to leave your suction cup mount on with that piece and plug in other parts of your GoPros to it. So there you go. Um, one other thing I did want to show was the fact that the Ars Technica microphone that we've been using with our GoPro, right, microphone, 3.5 millimeter stereo plug with the little mini amplifier with the on off switch, works quite nicely with the iPhone, which I was happy to see. So I'll plug that into there, which means I'll get high quality sound as I'm doing my recording. And if you're interested in any of this stuff, shameless plug, you can visit our A store on Amazon. It's astore.amazon.com slash autosavant dash 20. Great, right? The most useless web address in the world. I'll put uh, that text up above me. You should be flashing now, flashing now. Uh, you can't put links to stuff in videos that's outside of YouTube. I could leave it in the comments, but don't want to get in trouble there. Um, and up next, I will give you a quick example recording of how this looks and sounds from in the car. I'll be back in a sec. And here we are in the car. You'll see you get a much more up-close view than you do with the fisheye lens and the GoPro using the iPhone, but the audio quality is about the same. Um, one thing that is very fortunate is the fact that they've added the ability on the iPhone to use the up volume button to start and finish recordings as well as taking still pictures, which means if you leave your phone in camera mode uh, and then plug it into the mount, you can just start and finish recording video by pressing the up button. You don't need to go through the process of fiddling with something in the home screen, turning it on, and then plugging it into the mount. So again, this is Kevin Gordon from autosavant.com with a quick tutorial, uh, which hopefully you find helpful on how to potentially use some GoPro equipment to record video in car with an iPhone. Look forward to talking to you guys soon.